Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome friends. Welcome to another live stream lesson with me, Stu Fuchs and Ukulele Zen. Thank you so much for choosing to spend some time with me. I have a great lesson to uh, queued up for you. We're going to be singing a classic gospel song, The Welcome Table, and we'll also be exploring this tune in depth. You see, I've prepared some graphics for you. I'll be taking you through all the sections of the song. We're going to take a look at the chord progression right here. And there's even a fretboard map that we'll be exploring this grade. <laughs> diminished chord chord tricks so it's going to be a really fun time hope that you'll stick around for the full lesson i'm so happy to see there's over a hundred people here already hello friends so glad you're here hey trey glad you're here kath here from sonoma county tim in western mass how you doing the eclipse is going to be passing over our part of the country and many others are you excited for the eclipse i am up here in vermont we are getting stoked for the eclipse should be a sunny day i hope that your day is going great and that you're making music today so let's jump into things today i have a bunch of things to share in this lesson and also some news and updates but let's just get started with warming ourselves up Please say hello in the chat. Barry, glad you're here from Brewster. Someone's in the house from Crete, Greece. Krisa, welcome. Jim Cobb in the house from Atlanta. Glad you're here, man. Tommy Fessel in the house all the way from Switzerland. Michael McKinney from Portola. So glad you're here. Hey, before we jump in, I just want to let you know that if you uh, want to share this uh, link with a friend and invite them, uh, this link will of course be available to watch anytime as a replay and i'll be sharing some news about my upcoming retreat at the omega institute check the links down below to learn all about that and there are also links down below to get this song sheet and also a printable version of the lesson notes for this lesson check the links down below i'll be sharing more about that in a moment but first let's warm up our hands and warm up our voices. Are you ready? Let's get it. So let's start with our open G string and just pluck that, take a few breaths, listen to the beautiful sound of the little tree in your lap, your ukulele. Breathing in slow, breathing out long. Wonderful. Let's come to our G major chord. Even if you've strummed this chord a million times before, see if you can begin, uh, bring a beginner's mindset to it. Strum it. Listen closely. Listen with great attention to your sound. And let's have a slow run through of the chords. Let's be mindful of our chord changes. That means in between each change, there's a moment where the hand can really soften, okay? These are some of the techniques I share in my live events, and I'll be sharing more about that in a moment. Okay, nice and gentle. This is what the song sounds like. We'll play it faster in a moment, but just to warm up our voices. The first note is...
right, let's go through it again. A little faster now. I know it's maybe a new melody for you, so just pick up on it. Here we go. Two, one, two, three. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table one of these days. Hallelujah. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table. Gonna sit at the welcome table one of these days. Cool, cool, cool. We're warming up our voices. We're warming up our hands. There are three things I want to cover in this lesson. Backbeat strumming. I'll lead you through a rhythm exercise. Then I'm going to show you this pentatonic riff. All right, you can play it in two positions. And then I'm going to show you a very cool diminished chord trick that you can put right after the E minor chord. But that's not all. Okay, there's a couple of different places you can move it. We'll get right into that. How are you feeling so far, friends? I'm so glad you decided to join me. Heather, Cynthia, Lena, Rick from Wisconsin in the house. Carla's in the Seattle from the Seattle area. Yes, I'm gonna be at the Port Townsend Ukulele Fest in just a few days. I'm getting on a plane. And I'm really excited about that. So, friends, check the links down below to pick up the printable tabs uh, and song sheet. Um, it's all part of uh, your membership. If you're willing to be a member of the Patreon community, it's just two bucks a month to get started. It's I'm so grateful to everyone supporting this channel. You know that um, you can follow along this le with all my lessons with or without the printables but uh, you get not only the printables, but a whole bunch of other cool perks, bonus lessons each month, discounts, and other cool perks. So check the links down below. Make sure uh, that you also check out the link to join me live at the Omega Institute. The Omega Institute is a fantastic retreat center. We spend five days going deep into music, playful ways of bringing a mindful approach to your music making, and it's all housed at the amazing Omega Institute's Arts Week. So while our program is going on, there's always a program going on with visual arts, with drama. Um, it's a fantastic center and a great place to go just to renew, recharge, refresh yourself. I hope you can join me. I know that there are at least two people in the chat right now who have been to the Ukulele Zen Retreat. Um, and if you'd like to join me, I promise you, it's going to be a transformative time for yourself and your music. We go deep into music making. We have a lot of fun. So check the links down below. Hope you can join me. And let's continue with some lesson now. Now, I'm going to zoom in to my hand and lead you through a bit of rhythm. Let, let's lose these... Uh, lose these graphics for a sec we'll bring them back right now simple strum at first one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three I da, da, one two three four now i'm going to teach you something in a moment but for right now just lock in with me S scratch your strings just mute them three four one two, three, four. See if you can count to four, making two and four louder. So you count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One more time, then I'm gonna teach you one, two, three, four, oh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, oh. Awesome. Oh, Cynthia, you already signed up for the retreat. So cool. Trey, thank you so much. So glad that you're here. Thanks for the shout out about the retreats. Hey, check this out. Backbeat rhythm. You can do this anytime you're walking down the street, okay? You step, you clap. You step, 
you clap. This is best done standing up. If I stand up, you're not going to see anything but my belt. So let's do the sitting or standing. Slowly, I want you to count. And the specific way to do this would really be to be in the body. Try not to think your way through it, but feel it. Okay, so we're going to go step, clap, step, clap. One, two, three, four. One, two, uh, three. We'll do it slow at first. Two, uh, three, four. Make sure you're tapping and clapping. You're watching and you're counting. A uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, a uh, four. A uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hold the phone. Let's bring back the slideshow. Okay. We'll be strumming in a moment, but let's do this a cappella. Okay. We'll do it just a titch faster. Be in the body. I know you're looking at a screen, and I appreciate you watching and being here, but make sure you're in your body watching it so you're receiving feedback through the eyes of what you're doing. You're receiving feedback of the physical sensation of your foot touching the floor and what that feels like. So be in the body, literally embody the rhythm. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Come on, two, three, four. One, two. We're going to sing it. One, two, three, four. I'm going to sit at the welcome table. Come on. I'm going to sit at the welcome table one of these days. Hallelujah. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table we're gonna sit at the welcome table one of these days yeah and you know doing this with a group of friends you lift each other up you hold the rhythm together okay diane thank you yes i remember you very well of course we had a beautiful time together at the retreat. Thanks for all the shout outs about Omega. All right, let's keep the beat going and let's add something else. We're going to go like this. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. So every other time, do a double clap. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. It's good exercise. Step side to side. How about we go a little faster now? One, two. You can do it all single if you want. You could all double. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or you can mix up singles and doubles. Ready? Let's sing. Mm, I'm gonna sit at the welcome table. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table one of these days, hallelujah. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table one of these days. Sweet. Hey, give yourself a big hand. Come on. Give yourself a pat on the back for showing up getting your hands into it how are you feeling friends let's strum some more and we're gonna move to the next verse okay we've just sung this a bit so let's move on to the next verse same melody and yes by the way when you get to the b7 chord you can play this one or that one all right so that's my exercise in backbeat when we really embody it with this foot hand foot clap foot clap it just starts to show up automatically in your strumming down is one two a little firmer three is light four is a little firmer okay let's try not to think too much about it you can just feel the backbeat 
as you strum. Two, one, two, three. I'm gonna feast on milk and honey. I'm gonna feast on milk and honey one of these days. Hallelujah. I'm gonna feast on milk and Feast on milk and honey One of these days Nice. Let's sing another verse and then we'll get into that pentatonic riff. One, two, one, two, three. I'm gonna raise my voice to heaven to heaven one of these days hallelujah i'm gonna raise my voice to heaven I'm gonna raise my voice to heaven one of these days one of these days Let's keep the beat to Go to C, C, three, four, C, two, three, four, three, two, three, G, third line, G, B7, G, D7, C, to G. All right, last verse. God's children gonna sit together. All God's children gonna sit together one of these days. Hallelujah. All God's children gonna sit together. Gonna sit, sit together one of these days. Thanks so much, everybody, for joining me. You know, after this fourth verse, you would then sing the first one again. And then you could take it home with an outro, which would just be a simple tag. We're gonna sit at the welcome table one of these days. Gonna sit at the welcome table one of these days Gonna sit at the welcome table One of these days All right, Lots of different ways you could end it, but a simple three-time repeat tag is a great way to do it. All right, friends, how are you feeling? Let's get into some more stuff here. I want to show you this pentatonic riff that I'm playing at the end of each verse and then also teach you a very cool diminished seventh chord trick. Now, I call it a trick, but it's really a harmonic motion. Uh, it's a powerful one and one that you can move to different areas of the neck. So we'll do that in just a little while. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, would you please subscribe to this channel? You know, subscriptions help this channel to grow. They don't cost anything. And if you just reach out and tickle that like button, it tells YouTube that this is valuable content and it helps to share my videos with more enthusiastic music makers like yourself. So please reach out, tickle that like button, click the subscribe button. And if you would like to receive some monthly benefits for your playing, there are links down below where you can uh, join as a member. If you pledge for an, a full year, there's 13% off. So uh, it turns out to be pretty affordable starting at just two bucks a month and you get all kinds of cool perks. I'm so grateful for the sweet, kind, and super creative, I must say, very creative community around the Ukulele Zen page. So thank you so much for being here. There are links down below. 
uh, to check out more about pentatonic courses and other courses and the art of ukulele chord melody that I just released at the beginning of this year. All of these courses take you deep into music with really well-crafted video lessons, jam tracks, fretboard maps, a whole bunch of stuff to help you learn. So hope you check the links down below. And last but not least, hope you'll join me at the Ukulele Zen Retreat, five days of music, playfulness, mindfulness, great food, nature. You'll meet some great, great friends too. It's one of the and one of my favorite places on earth is the Omega Institute. So I hope you can join me. I'll also be playing a full concert there, which I'm practicing for. <laughs> I have some new toys to share with you. I have to unplug it to show you. It's not a looper. It's a blooper. <laughs> okay. Very excited about this upcoming year's retreat. Now, friends, let's check out the pentatonic scale all right you know the course i just flew this thing in uh here for pentatonic riffs the pentatonic scale can be the foundation for so much great improvisation also can form the foundation of an entire song and that course takes you through different riffs and how to get creative with them let's pick this together okay at the end of each verse we play sit at the welcome table one of these days so you can also play it here you can also just strum the chords there won't be a clash when you play g c g to pick the riff Place your ring finger at the 3rd fret G and at the same time have your index finger touching the 1st fret F. So when you lift up the ring finger, that F is waiting for you. The next two notes are the 2nd fret of the 3rd string and the open string. Let's put those four notes together. your thumb, pick with your fingers, and also just pick with a guitar pick. All right. The last notes, third fret, open. You can also add an extra little note by sliding from the 3rd to 4th fret and then releasing to the open string. So all together that riff is, I'll play it once and then you copy, here I go. Two, three, four, one, two. the graphics here so we can really um, get into this let's get into a loop and practice it I'll count it out you start on beat two with me one two three four one two three four one two good again one two We're going to do this again and again, and we're going to pick it, pick up the pace. This will be a good part, uh, if you're watching this for the first or the second or third time, to pause the video if you need to slow it down. Really, it's totally good to take it at a glacial tempo. Just get comfortable with this. Okay? Before we do more repetitions, I want to show you another way to play it. Which, and this is nice because it puts it up here, and you don't use that fourth string which is sometimes tuned high if you're playing high G uke. So here is how you play it up here at 10th fret. Notice how once again I set up the hand by leaving two fingers down. It's very handy. 
instead of having this finger flying up in the air, have it ready to go. Okay. It's a simple concept, but one that's really helpful. Have the hands planted. Okay, so play 10th fret, G, 9th, uh, 8th fret, F, and then we hop up one string, same two frets, D, C. So let's play those four notes together. Yep. Very nice. And now, just move that ring finger here, and you're going to play... Okay, so that's the B flat to B natural, 10th to 11th fret. And then you're going to have to just stretch this to reach the 7th fret. When you put it all together, more advanced players might think, my goodness, he's going so slow. Yeah, because when we go slowly, we can memorize things so well. It's like you're digging one deep well into one subject. And this monotasking is very powerful. Monotask, just master one thing. And as you master this, you're not just memorizing where to place your fingers, but how to place them in a way where it feels fluid, where it feels soft and connected, okay? So it's very, very powerful. I found it very, very useful to just go into one subject deeply. Just be a master of what you can control be a master of what you can control, and then pick up the pace. As you pick up the pace, keep it loose. All right. So let's put this in context. Here's what we'll do. We'll play, sit at the welcome table one of these days, right after days. ba 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 Okay. <laughs> well, I'll do it down here a few times. I'll do it up here a few times. And let's have a great time. All right. If you're digging this so far, if you're getting value, please click that like button. And now get your hands back on your ukulele. <laughs> okay, last line. Two. One, two, three. Sit at the welcome table one of these days. Was that a little fast? <laughs> it's a little fast for me. I flubbed one note. <gasps> Let's do it again. One, two, two. One, two, three. Gonna sit at the welcome table one of these days. Woo! Give yourself a pat on the back. Come on. This is what it's about. Doing one thing at a time with skill, with focus. All right. Let's do it again. This time I'm going to try to get up here to the 10th fret. You don't have to. One. You can stay in the open position. One, two, three, I'm going to sit at the welcome table one of these days. Cool. Now let's get a loop going. One last little nuance. When you go for this one, you can sweep. I'm getting very lazy with my index finger. Muffling. And I sweep up. That's a nice tasty thing to do. Okay, a sweet pick. All right, each time we do this this time, we'll pick it up faster and faster and faster and stick around because we're going to do the diminished chord thing in just a moment. One, two, one, two, three, I'm going to sit at the welcome table one of these days. I'm going to sit at the welcome table one of these days, one of these days. I'm going to sit at the welcome table one of these days. I sit at the welcome table one of these days. All right, so we did a loop, a loop, all right, four times. 
next time a little faster. Don't click away. We'll be doing something in just a moment. One, two, one, two. I'm going to sit at the welcome table one of these days. I'm going to sit at the welcome table one of these days. I'm going to sit at the welcome table one of these days. Sit at the welcome table one of these days. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Thank you for hanging, everybody. So glad that you decided to stick around. How are you feeling? So, pentatonic riffs. Explore them some more, have some jam tracks, and learn how to improvise around them. Check the links down below because in those courses, I teach you not only the riffs, but how to extrapolate your own ideas from them with some simple, easy to apply ways. Now, last but not least, the diminished seventh chord trick. It's not hard to do. What we're going to do is right after we move from the B7 to E minor. Table. We approach the G chord from one fret below. I'm going to sit at the welcome table one of these days. All right, so that motion is like this. Start on B7. table now move to the first fret open one open one and then up to here so we're just blocking out the motion right now b7 e minor one and one open one open And what is the harmonic rhythm? What beat does that chord come in? It sounds like this. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. It's just two beats. It's a little chord substitution at the very end of the measure with E minor. So that box up there where it says E minor, half of that box is being shared with the G diminished chord. Okay. Let's try it together one more time. Oh, uh, one. Uh, how about we take it from the third line? Okay. Well, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table. Gonna sit at the welcome table one of these days. One of these days. So it is a quick embellishment, but now let's take it a little further. We can take that same chord. It's a little, it's upside down and reverse position from where my hands are. But as you're looking down at your fretboard, this is what you're playing right here. That's that first voicing. So now to move it up to the next position, what you'll want to do is switch your fingers out. Okay. You're going to want to fret it with the ring and pinky and move that up to the fourth fret and then add the index and the middle right there. It's the same four notes. the same four notes they've just been reordered so what we're doing is we're moving through a different voicing of the chord and from here we can resolve back to G okay so try this with me 
move from the first voicing to the second voicing, then to G. All right. It's only two beats of time in this song, but this can be stretched out and used in other situations where you really have time to move from one to the next, and we'll do that in a moment. Let's apply it to the song. One, two, third line. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table. Gonna sit. All right. So you may play two chords. It could be. So we're using this as uh, the song as a vehicle to learn this very cool trick. Now let's just forget about the song for a moment and explore this a little more. Okay. okay let's spend four beats on each chord. One, two, three, four. Move to the next shape. Okay, that starts at the third, fourth, third, fourth. What happens is you're moving this up three frets. One, two, three. Now you're up three frets. Six fret, seven fret, six fret, seven fret. Now move it up three more frets. One, two, three. And you could keep going. If you went up three more frets, one, two, three three you'd be right back where you started you're at the same pitches in the open position you just moved up an octave so we're playing the diminished seventh chord sliding it up three frets each time to make a new voicing the reason for it, the three fret distance, is that three frets is the space of a minor third. And a diminished seventh chord is built of minor thirds. One minor third stacked on top of one another. Because of that, the chord is symmetrical in its shape. It's even, it's balanced. And that lets us move it up three frets at a time. find different voicings of the same chord. Now, this there's so much more that can be unpacked of this. But what I'd like you to do just for now, resolve this to G. The next voicing to G. The next voicing this time, resolve it to a barred 7th fret G6. The next voicing. You could resolve it to a G. Don't even need to meet, leave the pink. Don't even need to move the pinky. So each one of these diminished seventh chord voicings places you in a new zone on the fretboard. Pretty cool. So just a little window into what you can do with this amazing progression. I'd like to uh, open it up to some questions that might be in the chat. Uh, let me know what, what uh, you're curious about, about this topic or anything else that I can answer in the last section of this lesson. We're going to play the song one more time. And while we're playing the song, if you have any questions you'd like to put into the chat please put a bunch of question marks before 
and after your question so it really pops out of the chat and I'll know uh, to answer your question that way so my friends how are you feeling so far I'm so glad that you decided to show up and be part of this lesson please drop your questions in the chat down below so I can answer them after we play the song one more time all the way through if you haven't already please give this video a thumbs up appreciate you being here so much check the links down below for information about my upcoming retreat at the Omega Institute and also more information about membership and to download the printable PDFs get all kinds of bonuses for your play so friends we got some questions greener pastures do you know your sticker is on my car right now <laughs> thank you I have I'm also representing um, if I may undress a little bit here Henderson ukulele group yeah I was in the Asheville Black Mountain not long ago and I have to say the North Carolina ukulele scene is very very friendly greener pastures have got your sticker on the car your question so you're using the G minor pentatonic or blue scale yes for this particular riff You slide up here you're moving from the minor third to the major third right. which is a common thing that's played over major chords all fits over a G major chord also a G7 chord okay. the minor pentatonic scale can be used over all flavors of chords the G minor Excuse me. Can be used over a G7. Can be played over G major. All right, so that's the G pentatonic scale. Can we resolve this chord to other uh, than G major? Yes, yes, you can. This diminished seventh chord. So, this is um, uh, the tip of the iceberg. There's, uh, we could go down a deep rabbit hole. Let me, let me show you one other application of this, okay? When you're playing this voicing, it's not just a G diminished chord. It looks just like an A7 with a flat 9. It is an A7 with a flat 9. So this can resolve to D minor. So the next voicing could also resolve to D minor because it's the same chord. It's also an A7 with a flat 9. Resolve it to D minor. All right, so each diminished 7th chord can be used as four different chords, a topic that um, would, would really take some time to unpack best to uh, in the spirit of monotasking just understand how to use it in one situation so if you'd like to go a little deeper yes you could take a take a, away from this that all those shapes that I showed before all of these it's not just a G diminished chord but it is an a7 flat 9 which points to D minor used this way it points to G major Okay, so the diminished seventh chord is a chameleon in a way. It can be used in a lot of different kind of contexts. Scott Rowe, what's with the commercials? I'm not sure. Maybe uh, YouTube is uh, placing some commercials. My hands are on my ukulele. YouTube um, has changed its monetization policy, and sometimes they put ads wherever uh, they want to. Even on videos that I say don't put an ad on, if it's copyrighted content, like when I was teaching Georgia on my mind last month, they put an ad on it. So, Scott, I hope it's not too much of a distraction. Um, my, I, I always mute commercials and play. 
That's what I do when commercials come on. Sorry if it's a distraction. Appreciate you being here. The Tango Frog, where's my hair? I donated my hair. I donated my hair a month, uh, no, at the three months ago. It was out to here, down to here. I donated it to Locks of Love. So my hair right now is probably a wig on the head of someone going through cancer treatment, chemotherapy or radiation. Uh, they need my hair more than me. <laughs> so that's where my hair went. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Um, a chord, new chord melody book. So the chord melody uh, course um, is available. And there's a link to it down there. More advanced chord melodies. I offer one each month as me for members of the Ukulele Zen uh, patron community. Um, there's an in-depth tutorial each and every month. And I am also working on a more advanced book that will be available to all. So thanks for your interest. Yeah, that's the whole tone scale. A lesson on advanced strumming styles. I do have a lesson, many lessons on advanced strumming styles. Yes, I do. If you go to the page, Ukulele Zen, just go to the channel page. There's a search bar there. When you click on the videos tab, there's a search bar. You can put in strumming. And of course, for members of the Patreon community, there is a searchable index where I have all kinds of different strumming lessons and... Um, and things of that sort. So thanks for your interest. Um, all right, so cool, thanks. I'm glad I answered questions. Thanks for sticking around. You ready to jam the song? There's so much to do with the diminished seventh chord. I know it's kind of a tease. But it can resolve to D minor very easily. And it can resolve to G. It's used in different ways depending on the context that you find it in. I've been bending my string, so I'm going to tune up. And while I'm tuning up, I tune up because I care. I want to say that to everyone who's in Pacific Northwest and watching, I'm looking forward to coming to the Seattle area and being part of an amazing lineup at the Ukulele Festival of Port Townsend at beautiful Fort Warden State Park right there on the coast. It's awesome. Port Townsend Ukulele Festival. You can look it up. I think there may still be some seats available if you'd like to come. Thank you all so much for joining me for what is obviously a lesson that is planned but also driven by your interests and your questions. So thanks for flowing with me. And now, let's play one more time. Um, this would be a wonderful song to do in person. I think I will bring this to Port Townsend so we can um, play and sing in harmony. All right, so if, you, if you're a harmony singer, please join in with your harmonies. I know Trey's out there smiling because she knows how to sing harmony. One, two... One, two. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table one of these days. Hallelujah. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table. Gonna sit at Welcome table one of these days. Well, I'm gonna feast on milk and honey. I'm gonna feast on milk and honey one of these days. Hallelujah. I'm gonna feast on milk and Hallelujah. 
my voice to heaven. I want to raise my voice to heaven one of these days. Woo! All right. Do do the la 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 la. the first one and then we'll take it out all God's children gonna sit together all God's children gonna sit together one of these days hallelujah all God's children gonna sit together First verse, I'm gonna sit at the welcome table. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table one of these days. Hallelujah. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table. Gonna sit at the welcome table. One of these days Gonna sit at the welcome table One of these days Last one Gonna sit at the welcome table One of these days All right, friends, so grateful that you decided to join today. I wish you all a wonderful day, wonderful day of music making, wonderful day being together with your friends and your family. I hope that you get to see the eclipse if you live in an area where it's going to cross. It's going to cross North America. Very, very excited about that. And if you uh, enjoyed what you saw, please leave a question or a comment down below. Jerome, I'm going to be in the Pacific Northwest uh, in this next weekend, the Port Townsend Ukulele Fest, next Friday through next Sunday. You can go to centrum.org, C-E-N-T-R-U-M dot org, or just Google search Port Townsend Ukulele Festival, and it will come up. I'm one of several great presenters going to be there. It's really going to be a great time. Hope you can make it. So there's so much more to go into, as always. I hope that you found this to be a good circle for you, a mixture of strumming, a mixture of some chords, a mixture of some picking, and a whole lot of singing and having a good time. So thank you so much. I had a great time with you today. Much love to you all. Much love and good blessings to you and your families. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to share this video with someone who you think would enjoy it. And until we meet next time, wish you all the best.
Thank you so much. Until we meet again, happy jamming. <laughs>